Hello, I'm making this video to illustrate how I benchmark DCS. For this you'll need some external programs. The ones I use are CapFrameX and Riva Tuner Statistics Server. Both of these are free to use and I'll leave the links in the description below. The process is simple and captures an abundant amount of information. Okay, let's go through it step by step. First step, get the programs. CapFrameX Reva Tuner Statistics Server. There's a link to Reva Tuner's homepage from CapFrameX's homepage. Now extract the programs from the zip files to a directory of your choosing and run the executables. Now we're ready to start benchmarking. The only program you need to run is CapFrameX. It will automatically load Reva Tuner Statistics Server. Once CapFrameX is up and loaded, there's only two settings you really need to change. The key binding to start capturing. DCS uses this key binding for airfield, so I change it to Control F12, and the length of time it captures for. Setting this setting to zero means that it'll capture until you run out of hard drive space. Okay, only one more area I'll talk about in CapFrameX before we actually do a capture, and that is the overlay. I think it's important to note here that the options that are selected in the overlay do not determine what is being captured, only what is being displayed in the overlay. The overlay allows you to save three configurations. The procedure is you select the number you want to save to, select the options, then press the save icon. One final point about the overlay. On the bottom you can see there are two more hotkeys and an area that says OSD options. If you click on that, you'll see that there's an auto disable OSD. What that does is if that's enabled, when you start capturing your overlay disappears. Click this off if you want your overlay to stay on your screen. Okay, that's it. Let's do a benchmark. Okay, press your keybind to start capturing. For me, it's Control F12. Capture started. That overlay is a little hard to see. Let's make it larger. I'm sure you get the idea. Press your keybind again to stop capturing. Capture finished. Okay, let's see what we've captured. Okay, all your captures will show in this panel on the left hand side. You can expand that panel if you want to get a little bit more information. Now to view the data, select what you want to do with it. For example, analysis. Or you could compare, but the problem with compare is I have nothing else to compare it to. So let's add some benchmark runs. Okay, here is a group of benchmark runs that I had previously captured. To add them to the list, you can do it one at a time or simply grab the whole list and drag it over to the comparisons window. From here you can do things like hover the mouse over a bar and it'll set it as a baseline then you can see how much of an upgrade something is. Or you can change the metrics of your bar graph for comparison. Okay, let's go back to the analysis window for a second. Options like total CPU load, max CPU thread load, GPU load, GPU power limit. This might help identify whether your GPU or CPU is limited. It'll be interesting to see how these benchmarks are affected with Vulkan as well as multi-core support. Okay, one last thing to talk about. Comparing different benchmarks are affected by the resolutions you use, aircraft you use, maps you use, missions you're on. So a direct comparison is nearly impossible. So what I did is a different method. I create a mission, I fly the mission, I save the track, then when I replay the track, I benchmark the track, not the mission. 
That way I can just replay the track and benchmark it whenever I change my settings. For hardware changes, I make sure that the settings I use between runs are identical. These are the settings I use for all the different hardware for all these benchmark runs. I have done some benchmark testing in VR and will be releasing a video shortly on this as well. The remainder of the video is simply the benchmark run in its entirety. Capture started.
Capture finished. Thank you for watching.